Hello beautiful world. Do you write blogs? Any kind of sales copy that you want to get ranked in search engines? Well today we're going to just have a look through Outranking. Outranking is an AI powered SEO optimization tool. Um, I know that I've done a few of these on my channel before, so if you like this kind of content, uh, hit subscribe and like this video. Comment below with any suggestions. We are constantly learning and growing together, um, which I thank you very much for. So let's have a look at Outranking. So this is Outranking, outranking.io, and it, it helps us do research, write, and optimize our content for higher organic traffic. Uh, let's have a look at its sales page very quickly and what it is. So creating content by re leveraging SERP analysis and it uses GPT-3 AI assistant. And then it does scoring for us so that we know how well we're going along the way, um, giving us recommendations of where we need some improvement or what's been um, good. We'll have a look at that. And we can add in our teams um, to work together with collaboration. And it has a WordPress um, plugin. It has a Google Docs add-on. So that's our ranking. Uh, let's see, let's have a look at its pricing. So if you are a writer, so they have a free tier, they have a starter tier, tier at 39 and then they have a growth tier at 99 a month so this is interesting how this one starter has 10 users compared to a growth at one user um, that's an interesting Interesting difference, 20,000 words AI writing and the growth has unlimited and the starter has 30 SEO document searches and the growth has 200. So those are the main differences that I can see. Um, you can use the free version, of course. So once we log in, this is what we will see. And so if we have content already or something that we want to um optimize so i'm just going over here and um let's go into this so i want to write this blog so i just put in my topic that i want to do kind of the title oh, it already does that for me automatically my country the language um, the draft and some tags. And we just create new SEO document and that ranking will set up um, some instructions for us using its SERP data analysis. Uh, so collecting keyword data for us. And then we can see over here we got the URL so we will go over to here and we will check we will just copy our doc URL because it can give us recommendations on that and it's gathering our suggestions now so we can do title but and it's in it's a meta title and meta description um, and then we can see over here that it's going to have our score. Um, and it's going to rank us zero being bad to a hundred. Um, and it's going to go all the way through. So um, title, meta 
data, description, headings, sections, questions, URL, related keyword. And once it loads, we'll be able to go down. Then it's got AI write and instructions up here as well. Um, we can share it out. Um, and we've got some controls of exporting to Google Docs and importing. We can add in images. And this is the AI write feature there. Um, in the file, we can save and create a new one and we can look up the history. So generating, generating, generating. Okay, so now it's finished its analysis. And because I've already put in the URL, I got a three. So then from here, um, we just got overview of the information and it tells us, you know, it's analyzed 20 pages to get this information and a whole bunch of other things like my readability, um, my word. So I'm going to go now over to instructions and then you just work your way through all these instructions. So create a meta title there. You can see the ideas and then if there's ones that you like, you just put it in. Otherwise you can get it to rewrite and you do that again for meta description. Find one that you like and just put it in or rewrite it or rewrite it yourself. Then you go to your headings, find one that you like, rewrite it and put it in. Then find out your sections that you would like. I think there is a automatic brief. So let's check out this and customize the brief. We're going to go insert a brief. We can use a sketch pad. But here is a brief. So we'll save that. And so if you were having another writer do this for you, or work in collaboration, then you can get that as a doc or a PDF. Uh, so we will just close out of that. But that's the easy way to get a brief. Let's just go back to instructions. Uh, so we are going to now step two. So optimize it. So putting in keywords into the meta description, sorry, meta title, meta description, you know, keywords, um, letting us know minimum characters to do. It gives us then I, I, the ideas that we went through before. Next one, optimize it. Close all these. Uh, and then so we're up to headings, so we'll click on the headings. I oh, yeah, got that, sorry, sections. So then we just look through some of these sections here and we can add them in in the same way. So here, just click the ones that you like. Yep, so just go through, see the ones you like. And then put them in. So there you go, you got an outline now. And from here, then let's have a look at questions. So down in frequently asked questions, uh, we can put in any questions that we would like to do. And again, it's just rewrite or copy into. Okay, so add the questions that we like. URL, then we can change that up. And related keywords, so we can add in other keywords that we have. So video making. And we can find related keywords. So it'll 
run through and help us with that. So, no, no, don't know what it was doing there, probably doing something wrong. So, Yep, so we can just add in all our other keywords. So from our keyword research tool that we um, have used, we can add that in and then that'll keep a track of how much we've used those um, keywords. So then we can go into this and we can rewrite using GPT-3. Um, we can re rewrite longer text using N LG, so that's a smaller number of characters, 120. We can do a large rewrite of 500 characters with this tool. Um, we can expand it, we can shorten it, or we can command the AI. So you'd have to look into more details on exactly how this all works. Um, let's just go expand. and it'll expand out. I'll just change that to a paragraph. Yep, like that. And we can just keep doing that. Let's see what this command does. Okay, so it gave us another bit of a outline. Um, in there, but you'd have to look up a bit more of what they, what the command function can do. The command function is probably a really powerful uh, function. I haven't used it all that much, uh, my apologies, um, but I will have to look into that because Closest Copy also has a command that's really powerful um, when you start to understand what they can do. Um, so we can just keep going through and expanding or shortening and of course it's going to be a much better you want to proofread this you want to add in um, you want to fact check it as you go and you go through and check your ranking so this will do automatic every couple of minutes but you can just refresh it there so this is nice and simple and that is a quick overview of what outranking does. So really quite easy to use tool um, that has a lot of powerful features that will give us lots of benefits if we are content writers. Um, it's very easy to use step-by-step um, -step instructions. So it's a really nicely thought out application that content writers can really use to help them with their SEO. So thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day.